Okay, so there's my ascent. There I am. I come out and I get to my redirect. Always put a lanyard in for your redirect. Okay, then there's a bite above the multi sender. And there, there is the redirect. This side is static, this side is dynamic. Okay, so we would go there. Put the lanyard around the tree. Remove the redirect. Check and make sure that the loop is free. out and there I am already to go someplace else and this time we want to protect it or it's got a really tight really tight crotch so this is the dynamic leg this is the static leg to protect that take Midline attachable cadmium saver. And now, when we come back, it's a lot smoother. So that is very, very easy friction wise. Plus, you could use it. You could use it for a scent. All right. So if you have if you have your redirect over this branch and there's one, two, three lengths right there, if your redirect goes away. you're left with all that slack that goes away. Okay, so this is a girth hitch. Comes up and around the ring, just like that. Like that, like that. But when we pull on it, come up. We girth hitch it, just like that. And then this comes around the ring and goes like that. Pretty much stays out of the way. And then when you pull on it, it opens up, opens up, girth hitches to the ring. This attaches to the line. So there's the, there's the girth hitch. Just like that. When we take this comes off. You pull a bite. I take the ring. Put it on the bite. Take the clip to just one line, to one line that comes up and over the redirect. And then I pull that bite through the redirect.
Our carabiner goes in there. That cinches down. And notice that this is slack. Mine is all slack. So I do my redirect and we disconnect the redirect. It comes down to the ring. The ring comes off, comes back up over the tree, and then to recover the redirect, you pull on the ring. All right, so here, here I'm completely midline. You could be coming down next to a spar or something. I don't know. I haven't really figured out where this could be used. I just think it's it's kind of cool. I think see what you're doing for your hands. So that hook goes on here. So that is there. And then what we do is we take now we take our bite and put it through there and that becomes the knot. So it becomes a midline attachment and it's secure that knot can't come loose. To take it off just like we did before. Sometimes give a little twist. And it slides right back to me. It's kind of cool how that makes that a self-tending friction hitch, doesn't it? Here I'm measuring the force. This represents the static side of that on bite redirect. And going over a pulley represents the friction that we're trying to measure as we go over the branch. I'm going to measure that. The difference between using a pulley and using a straight carabiner by having my enforcer above and we'll measure it from there. Right now I have it set to zero and we're gonna wake the system and then I'll replace this with a pulley and we'll do the same measurements. Again, this is, this is the friction that we're measuring. And we're measuring it by how much weight is being, how much force is being exerted on this pulley right here. There is um, a carabiner without the pulley and I weigh with my gear and everything about 200 pounds. So I'm seeing about 100 pounds of force applied, about 100 pounds of force applied to that friction point to the, to the branch up there. Okay, so now as I go down and I'm not touching the tree, I see more. Right now about 140, 137, I'm not touching the tree, 133, 138, 39, 50, as I stop. We've put more load up on that branch. Now, just for fun, if I lock that off, I'm gonna set this right there, maybe I won't drop it, I don't know could drop it's an iPhone it's tough right so if I lock that off those two connections then I should basically see that go to just about zero if I can hold it all right so the more friction that gets applied here the smaller that number gets I can't hold that too much but I'm down to 50 53 the more friction I have here the less friction I have up on my branch All right, now we'll give it a try with a pinto pulley. Again, we're measuring the force that would be applied to the branch 
in an on-bite redirect. I'd expect it to be more than with the carabiner alone, but less than with the more efficient pulley. So we're seeing about 120. The more efficient the pulley is, the greater the load and the friction on the, the limb. And for example, we went from a really efficient to a pinto pulley to the carabiner. Now, for example, say this completely gets locked off just like when I was holding it. All right, so without a care with just a carabiner, we drop it off and we see in the 90s in the 86, 82, 70, 64, 51 all the way down to 38 when I start. As soon as that press egg starts to engage, then it goes to relatively zero. Now I see, well, zero. And there, you can see from looking up there, there's no weight on the branch anymore. It's all basically being held by the SRT. So it kind of makes sense as you progress from zero friction to 100% friction.